Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terra. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Fighting with some energies today. Indeed, I have been all day long. I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Not gonna lie, I finally crawled out of bed about 11.30. <laughs> Which is not normal for me at all. Um, I don't know what it is. Just some... I don't know, energy shifts possibly, schedule changes for sure, but I'll manage it, I'll get to it, it'll be alright, take care of it. Anyway, enough about me. Aquarius, it's time for your reading for the first half of June, I apologize for the delay. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine, I just read the cards. If you would like something that resonates with you a little bit better, if it's not resonating with you, if you can't get the sun sign job, check your moon rising or Venus sign readings. I do offer personal readings at reasonable prices, but it is a 24 to 72 hour waiting list. I'm just warning you now. Time and energy are both fluid, all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Y'all are welcome here too. Come on in and have seats. Alright, let's see what the cards have to say for Aquarius tonight. The first half of June. Aquarius, why are you here? Seven of Swords reverse truth's coming out about something. Is the sun starting to shine on some shady shit? Hmm. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Queen of Wands. They're powerful. They're passionate. They're intuitive. They want what they want and they get it. Alright. Okay. What do you think of them? Ten of Swords in the reverse. You think they might have something they want to get off the chest. They need to release a burden. What do you want from them? Five of Cups in the reverse. You want them to come out of a state of sadness. You want them to stop looking down at the three spilled cups of tragedy and look behind them for the two cups of blessings that they're not seeing. Okay. How do they feel about you? Five of Wands in the reverse, they feel like you're just wanting to avoid confrontation. What do they think? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, they see you as being impatient. What do they want from you? Knight of Cups in the reverse, well. That's a game changer. The Knight of Cups in the upright, not so committal energy. They come in with their little cup of love and then they take off again. This instance, I'm catching a feeling that either they want to commit or they want you to be willing to commit or they want you to put their money where their mouth is. You know what I'm saying? It's the obstacle or block, it's your six of pentacles. Things being equal could be feelings. Huh. Okay. Let's throw a clarifier on that. It needs to be done. Two of Swords. Taking off the blindfold and making a difficult choice with all the possible information in front of you. Hmm. Okay. Right on. Alright. Well. Let's get some clarity. I may need to go get some coffee. Universe, source of spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Aquarius today, please? Oh, what jumped? The moon jumped out. Okay, we'll see if it comes back out. 
That's the smoke and mirrors card. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse chair? You knew I was going to pick that one. I always want to know why a cycle can't close out. Of course, I got a big mouth and I'm not afraid to speak my piece, so... Of course, that's just a natural Sagittarian trait, but... I often wonder why other people can't do it so easily. Come on. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here? Six Swords. Okay. Someone needs to move on and that can't happen until someone speaks their piece. This is a closure issue. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? You all know how I feel about leaving stuff hanging out there. Six of Pentacles, upright, eight of ones, reversed, on top of it. coming out of a state of sadness. They want things to be equal. No forward movement. They want you to stop. They don't want you to go. They want you to get out whatever funk. Okay, sorry. No, you want them to get out whatever the funk they're in. Mm. Even the playing field. Settle the score. Don't go. You're just like, we can work through this. Don't go. You're going to come out of this. Just get up, get off your chest. Whatever you need to get off your chest, just don't go. Wow, okay. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here? Three swords reversed. The C was impatient, coming out of a state of heartbreak. Aquarius. Magician. I'm not seeing that as the happy magician. I'm seeing as that as the master manipulator. Guilt? Are you laying a guilt trip on Aquarius? They just that may just be how they're taking it. Full reversed. I don't trust it.
But they think you don't trust them. They think you don't trust them. It's more that sun shining on the uh, on the what wasn't illuminated before. Sunshine on the shady shit. Somebody's being manipulative. There's a lack of trust here. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Wallowing? <sighs> For some of you, it's like you're trying to lift them back out of their state of sadness. And they're just like, no, why don't you just come cry in this bucket of ice cream with me? Mm. Just let me be sad. That's the vibe I'm getting right now. And you can't just let them be sad. Because you don't know what they're sad about. Because that's something they're not willing to get off of their chest. One more, please. Two of Wands, they're not willing to let go of something yet. They're not ready to move forward. <sighs> something not being talked about. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Nine of Wands reversed. You feel like they're vulnerable. That doesn't even make sense. How can they be the Queen and the Nine at the same time? They're powerful. They're intuitive. They're a fireball. They go after what they want and they get it. They are the Queen of Wands. It could be a Leo you're dealing with or another fire sign. But at the same time, there's this vulnerability. They don't have one last push in them. Or maybe you're running out of pushes for them, Aquarius. Maybe you're running out of steam with this. Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? A swords. They, you, they feel like you're just trying to avoid conflict. One more. Trying to avoid conflict. Why the ace of swords? Double reversed. Okay. Avoiding conflict, disconnect. Not as obsessive as you were. Disconnect. There's a disconnect. Things may be a little bit out of balance. Something with communication. Something's not being said. Signals are getting crossed. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for the obstacle? Are the cards going to tell me what the secret is? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Four of Wands reversed. I 
The obstacle is the playing field isn't level. Things are not equal. Things are not as they should be. The scales are tipped somehow. Which leads to things not being stable and steady. A door could be very rapidly closing here for one of you. Or one is you ready to slam it because if the scales aren't equal, the scales aren't equal. I'd get sick of it after a while too. Somebody's harboring a secret. All right. And the other person's getting rather impatient. Why is the two of swords here? For it needs to be done that hasn't. High Priestess. Aquarius, you know what that secret is. You know what they're not telling you. Just gotta take the blindfold off and look. What's your gut telling you right now? Your gut told you there was a secret. Your gut told you there was something that wasn't being said. You knew. Now you need to turn on that little thing called your intuition. But you are highly intuitive. You are. Light fire on somebody's ass and get this figured out. Take the blindfold off. Get a little confrontational if you have to. You've been trying to avoid it. Sometimes you gotta be a jerk. Sorry. It is what it is. I know you don't want to be. I know that's that's not that's not an emotion you like. I, I I'm raising an Aquarian. I get it. He has a horrible time with emotion sometimes. But something's gotta be done. Something's gotta be done. So let's see what can be done. What's your advice? Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Oh, wow. You have some memories with this person. I think y'all go like Cadillac seats way back. I think it might be time to just kind of be independent for a minute with the Nine of Pentacles. Just kind of hang back. Let what's going to grow, grow, and what's not going to grow, shed. If you get, you catch my drift because you're soulmates. Soulmates have a tendency to find each other again on the path every once in a while. And if you're meant to find each other again, you're meant to find each other. If you're not, you're not. I set that down for a second. I'm not ready for that yet. Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. You have an overwhelming love for this person. And that's a love that's always going to be there with this King of Cups. And that's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have deep emotion for someone that you care about. But I think the universe has something new in store for you. And I don't want you to miss it because you kept hanging on to this. This is not your burden to bear. This is not your secret to be foretold. You have to love yourself enough to let this go and let it do whatever it's going to do. <laughs> the world reversed in the Three of Pentacles. I have a funny feeling that your story might not be over yet. And there may be a come back around and a coming back together in time. In time. They need closure. If this is going to move forward, they need to go close out whatever they had to close out. It's like a domino effect of leaving it hanging out there. Wow. 
This is sketch all around Aquarius. I don't like it. King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Justice in the upright. You need to just put the brakes on. Let this grind to a halt. And let it balance back out. It is not in balance right now. I've said my piece, Aquarius. The cards have said their piece. I have said my piece. This has been your first half of June. If it resonated, let me know, because this was just some craziness, okay? Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so compelled. I'm not going to twist your arm. If you want to, you want to. If you don't, you don't. It's your journey. I'm just here to shed light. Makes no difference to me. I did enjoy hanging out with you, though. Thanks for stopping by. It was a pleasure. I will catch you on Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. And hopefully, because my schedule is about to change drastically for the next couple of months, I'll give you more details on that when I'm 100% sure. But it, it's going to be weird for a minute. So, anywho, talk soon. Love you to bits. Bye for now.